Hey guys, my name is Zabo, and today we're gonna to be checking out uh Triple S Evolution. So right after Love Lucian, this is Evolution. Um, I'm really excited to check this group out or check this unit out. Um as you can see, I went to the Triple S concert like a while back when you know they came to Atlanta. So we were like the first city that they um basically toured. It was fun. I had a great time. I got to really learned a lot about them and their live like stage is so amazing like they all work so hard they dance hard like i'm trying to remember one one of the members was trying to speak but she sounded so like hoarse i was like please drink some water take you know, take your time you look y'all could literally stand there and not say a word and just drink water and that would be fine because it's Y'all are working so much hard, harder than we are. Just, you know, all we're doing is giving you energy and support. That's all we can do. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed myself. Um, I saw this was coming out. I don't know what, I think I just a lot of stuff. Like I had my birthday uh, last week. Um, so that, that was kind of just like my special week, I guess, or preparing for that. Um, a lot of other releases came out and, so I won't. Lie. I kind of put this. I was trying to react to this sooner, but then I kind of forgot about it. Won't lie. And then yeah. So if you guys are excited, make sure to like the video, comment down below any of your favorite songs from the Mujok album. So the the little diamond shape. That's that's literally what the album is called. That Mujok, I think, is what is how you pronounce it. Um, subscribe, hit the bell so you be notified when my videos go live. And for any extra content, check out the Patreon down below. But yeah, the, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So, the first song is Mujok, but it's in this, like, I don't I don't know why the numbers or why it's like this, but, yeah, that's what it is. Um, But it, just remember, it's like the, it's like the symbol, the, the, this symbol right here. Um, That's the first song. And then we have Invincible, which we're going to check out twice, um, since it's a new song and the title track. And then the rest are color-coded lyrics. So... From here, I'm just going to say, like, I don't know if these are going to be right or wrong because, um, you know, it's not at, it's not from, like, I guess, trusted sources that everyone knows about. Um, so, but the first song is Rodantha, Rodanthia, and then we have Heavy Metal Wings, 37 and a half Celsius, um, we have Moto Princess, um, um, we have we, uh, we we, um, and then Jiwoo has her solo song, which is very short, um, Enhanced Flower. So we're just gonna let that one play out. But yeah, for the most part, let's just get straight into it. Let's gonna let this intro play out. Well, they have good intros though. I think the new member too, Mayu, Mayu. I think it's Mayu, Mayu. I think she's in this too. Oh, they just mentioned the name.
I'm gonna pause it here. So, so far, I'm not being pulled in by the song. For me, I, for me, I, maybe this might not be the song for me. That's it. Cause there's parts that I really enjoy. I enjoy the choreo. I enjoy like their different tones. But I don't know. It's just it feels like it feels like they're trying to be aggressive, but in such a like a soft feeling song you know what i mean so it's like there's like those two contrasts and i don't think for me it's not really like working well in that sort of sense of how i'm seeing it but i do like the like parts where i do feel like the choreo is dreamy like the song is but i don't know it's like it, just, it feels like i don't know it just feels like the the pacing or something with the song isn't really like matching up well with something else i don't know it's just i don't know it's just not pulling me in. it's not really like like catching my eye and and that's the thing it's like i'm thinking about the other triple s like title tracks only where you know and i'm like they all have had something where it's just like it's easy to get into it pulls you in and everything and maybe this is just them trying something different and maybe that's it maybe for a title track like this maybe it's not pulling me in um, like the other one, maybe they had something similar where, you know, they had the sound that's easy to get into while this one is, you know, a little bit different, which, you know, that's fine. I'm, I'm glad that they're trying something different. I'm glad that they're not sticking with something for too long or it. And I feel like with this sound, it's not um, going off the rails away from the sound that they've been doing, I feel like. So, I mean, for me right now, it's not really pulling me in, but you know, when I give it more listens, maybe I'll be in the mood or maybe in that right, like, feeling or vibe. And then the song plays, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is it. You know what I mean? So let's continue. But I like the choreo a lot. And their vocals never fail, so it's like... I mean, like I said, I like the choreo. I like the choreo. I like the bits that we got to see, but you know, this song just wasn't pulling me in like other triple S songs have. And maybe that's because, like I said, it's a different style, different genre. So it's a genre that, you know, I feel like maybe I don't listen to as much, or maybe, maybe it's just something different like that. So I don't know. But I like the effort. I like that they're trying something different. I like the choreo a lot. Let's just get straight into it. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was the way the song started. Just kind of started in the way that it did. But it wasn't like a, oh, it starts immediately. It was kind of maybe in like a weird start place. I don't know. Let's, let's just get straight into it. Here we go. Just like 
What do they make then? I, I like that transition though a lot. It's like a top three to you there. I, I like it. Okay, the ending pose. I like it. I don't know. Second time through. I, I I started to vibe more with the song, but it it wasn't like fully like I'm in there after no it's it's still like I'm still kind of like do I really like the song or no like that's that's how I'm feeling right now about it but really really enjoyed that so remembers you young is it Mayu or Mayu I feel like it's Mayu but um Nakyung and then we have Kotane which which I knew. Cheyoung, I knew her name, but didn't want to say because I was scared that I didn't. <laughs> Jiwoo, yeah, we are new. Jiwoo. Um, Sumin and Youngji. Okay. With Rodantha? Roden Rodantha? I, I don't know what this word means. Or maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, but don't know. For that first... Is this sample from the same like is eyes one sample this, 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 that sound from something? Yeah. It's gonna be an early pause, but was you know I just wanted Violetta. Was that sampled from something else? Before I say like they sampled off of literally the eyes watched <laughs> Violetta, um, cause that's all I hear. Like I won't lie, like listening to this song. I, I won't lie. I'll probably listen to this and be like, why is I just want Violetta playing? And I'd be like, oh, wait, this is Triple S's Rodantha. Like, the whole Paul. Like, the, like I, I could give it she using the sample. That's fine. But even, like, the, the singing of it, like, the melody, how they're singing it, like, it's like, Violetta. Like, you know, that kind of, like, um, staccato way of singing it in eyes one song that's same way that they're singing it here hmm. and i'm just i'm just wondering like did they i'm just wondering because it, it it clearly is sample it clearly is 
But I'm just wondering, like, was the person that made the song, produced the song, also produced, like, the same person that produced this song, and they just kind of, I don't know. We all know. We all know that this was sampled. I, I like it, though. You know, I like I like Violetta, but I don't know how I feel about how this was produced when... Just gonna continue. Just gonna continue. Just gonna continue. Really enjoy their vocals though. I can say I really liked their vocals a lot. Really enjoyed that, you know, how they were singing and their tones. But for the song, I can't really, like, I couldn't really enjoy it because all I was just thinking about was Violetta. Like, you know, because it, like, I can understand using samples from a song or, you know, sampling from a song or using, like, a part of a song and maybe modifying it to where, like, you can hear it a little bit, but then that's it. But I mean, this this was it. It was not the same thing that they used a little bit. It was literally like a part of the whole beat. So it's like it's hard for me to enjoy this as a triple S song when all I can hear is another song throughout the whole song. Like, like I said, usually parts of a song you might hear something and you're like, oh, this sounds similar to this. But then that's it. The rest of the song is very new, very fresh very like you can't really think about anything else but maybe that one part of the song that comes up you think of another song and sing that part of the song or whatever this i'm i'm literally just gonna think like i'm listening to violetta and not um rodantha you know that that's how i'm gonna feel and i i don't know i don't really like i didn't really like that like that i feel i don't like where the producers went with that where um they sampled off of that and put that as the whole song like and you know that you know just it doesn't feel right for me for me to listen to that because it's not it's not the girl's fault i would say it's just the the way that it was produced um you know and they and they probably enjoy eyes one love that song too and maybe they heard it and they were like, oh, this sounds like Violetta or, you know, because they probably wanted to sing on it and, you know, have a song similar to Violetta or sound like Violetta. But I don't know. I, I, I just like for me, 
it just feels like it, it, if I listen to that song or when that song pops up, I'm going to be just thinking about Violetta and not Triple S's Rodenta. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'll be singing Violetta rather than this song. Um, and so it would be hard for me to, like, just not know the lyrics and stuff. So it's like, if I didn't know anything about Eyes One, I would have been like, oh, this is a cool beat and stuff. And then whenever I checked out Eyes One, like, let's say, you know, today or whatever, or whenever, I'm like, oh, did they use that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, if I didn't know about Eyes One beforehand, then maybe I would have been like, oh, this is a dope beat. But I don't know. So let's get into heavy metal wings. Let's let's continue. Heavy metal wings. So sad and hard, so on the mirror. Change and that be on the game. No more can you call it that umbe. I'm just a dad, a boy, a soul. They don't have to get a good shit. They go pango up to get to know. How many things I think I guess are. I'm gonna pause here, but I feel like the way that they describe like heavy metal wings, like basically you have these wings to fly and do whatever and do anything, but they're not as like angelic or light. They're very heavy with a lot of burden, a lot of, um, you know, your depression, your sadness, the anger or whatever you're feeling. So these wings start to get kind of coated with this like, you know, metal, like heavy metal wings, like you can fly and, you know, do whatever, but they're not as like light and free or, you know, as they are on you because, you know, of all this stuff that you carry on them and every, and how you feel. And, you know, I really like the songs, like message of like, you know, sometimes I, you know, want to give up. Sometimes I don't want to do this. And I like, you know, I think it was not young. That's, song it that said like it's okay to maybe feel this way and you know to be a little bit cowardly like you know never never not feel like that you know it's it's okay to feel that way um and and i, and I like that because you know some some days i i you know feel you know sad or depressed and i'm like why why am i feeling like this like you know like i feel almost almost like telling myself like don't don't feel cowardly or discouraged like don't ever feel like that like you know you shouldn't so i'm glad that it said it's okay i really like this song a lot um i don't know it's like it's like the other like we had an intro so it, like you know i don't really count intros for anything but the title track didn't really like pull me in as much it pulled me in the second time a little bit so i feel like i'm gonna really fall in love with that the more i listen to that and then um rodantha just 
I, I just I don't know. I just I can't picture myself listening to it singing the Rodantha lyrics without singing the Violetta lyrics first. So it it just feels like it's just like a it's just like a copy almost like you know. So I can't really like and in the thing like I said I, I it's not on the girls. It's whoever produced it and made those decisions and um yeah. I, and I don't know how their voting thing works. I don't know if the fans get to vote for any of the, of the other songs on the track or like B-sides or if it's just the title track. So, you know, for me, if, if, if it was other B-sides, like if they got the vote for that, like the voting that they have, the I think it's the Orbit or or something, um, then I, I think people would have said something or would have not have voted for it because it sounded way too much like Violetta. But if, if it's just the title track, then, you know, good title track. I, I Like I said, I have to get more into it. But, yeah, I don't know. But I really enjoy this one the most because so far I feel like I've gotten more of the of their unique style in this, more um, more of their um, tones. Like, I got to hear more of their unique tones from this song. and I mean, from the title track, too, but... It doesn't, I feel like I'm not reaching out from some other songs. So, yeah, let's continue. Yes. Really like that song. Okay, moving on to um thirty-seven and a half Celsius, um, or I wonder how you pronounce it in Korean. It's probably like pronounced in Korean, and it sounds like cooler. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. Love each other so much. Oh. Love each other so much. Okay. I like that. I like that they added that there. Oh, 
probably hear. Um, yeah, I really like this song. I really like the feeling of it. Like, um, come gently and embrace me. Like, I guess it's talking about, you know, loving that, like how love can be very hot, you know, that sort of feel. It may be like that tension and the passion that you're feeling when you love someone. Like, yeah, that's, I think that's what they're going for. Really, really like the vocals on this one. Really like, um, the ad libs that have been throughout the whole song. Like, it feels like they have not had like a, uh, like a part where it's just the beat and then like there's nothing so i'm glad that they added like ad libs especially at the beginning when i noticed it when um they went up and then the beat came in and then one of the members i can't really remember was singing with the beat and i really liked that i was like oh yeah okay yeah this this and then you can hear like throughout the whole song all the different ad libs i really really enjoyed that really like their vocals on this one I like the sound of the song a lot you know really really enjoyed this um I really am enjoying this. So let's really really like this one really enjoyed this song um moving it on to moto princess hello moto um let's get straight into it When she saw that, kind of, I was like, oh, okay. Pause it here. This song is short because this part is like really long, but I really like that. I really like the lot like this part right here. I don't know the model part. I feel like it's like coming from the back. Like you can kind of feel it. Like if it's someone is like speaking to it, speaking to you from behind you. I really like that. I don't know why that like that sound effect is there or how it's sung, but the first time they sing it, it's like 
like motto or something like that like is like very like dramatic and i love it really like the song like the feeling of it like how slow it starts and then it starts to pick up and you're like oh we're picking up now <laughs> and it just keeps picking up and picking up and i, and I like that i really like the feeling of the song really like the energy that they bring i feel like they were more more on this song like like um rapping like melodic rapping more on this song and i really like that like you know showcasing that a little bit more because we know like kotane you know is a rapper can rap you know so it's really dope to see her like kind of get a little bit of that um the um come out but really like the song really enjoyed it really like the pacing like the feeling of it you know i think i think i like the last three b-sides a lot more than the three songs at the beginning <laughs> Because they all have sort of like, to me, some sort of like issue that I'm having with them. So, I mean, I, I, I guess I can like do my summary, but let's continue. <laughs> why i feel like they're singing this from behind me for some reason the motto part okay i did notice something about the song um um that i like i don't know how i feel about it or what but it 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 feels very like smooth like in terms of like transitions like it doesn't feel like like you know with that whole like of course the la 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 part how like maybe they'll do something to where you can hear it like like cranking up or revving up or going up and then boom like they'll play like a sound effect like a boom or a firework or something effect to give it that like oh we hit the last bit but no it kind of just like it went up and then it said woo like you know like with no like really like no like hint of a transition like it just felt like that song i would say it felt if if I had to give a complaint, like it felt too smooth, I guess. So it was kind of hard to tell, like when when we were going in and out of the chorus or into a verse. Some sometimes, like you can easily tell when we go into a verse, but it's just like I don't know. It just felt very smooth. And I mean, that's different for me. So I'm like, I don't really dislike it, but I just like thought to point that out. But moving on to um, we um, here we go. Don't let this one play out. This is so short. It's like tea time. Like I'm on the love question. Tastes like ice cream. Can I get a gift? Man, I'm not a fan. Given it so fine. No, so I'm just so upset. I think the record strikes. Dream. That's not me. Dream. 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 Dream
Um, I personally, I like the vocals, but overall, I felt like that song was okay. Like, I feel like it didn't really do too much. It didn't really move anywhere. I mean, with how short it was, it makes sense. Um, like the vocals, but I don't know. Like when I was listening to it, I was kind of a bit distracted. Um, didn't really like enjoy the beat too much. Um, you know, didn't feel like it added. Like they didn't do too much with it. Like it felt very um. Like it's not as much care went into it or felt as I didn't feel like a lot of care went to that song. So, but I mean, can't can't blame the girls because they executed with the vocals and just the feeling and their tones and everything. So moving on to the last song, which is Jiwoo solo, Enhanced Flower. I didn't even know she got a solo. I'm surprised that I don't, I wonder, I didn't find a, a video anywhere. So I'm surprised they didn't film like a, you know, a video for her. You should embrace yourself now. Dang, man, is it like wrong for me to say like I really enjoyed that a lot? Like that might that might have been my favorite thing on this album was Jiwoo solo. Man, that really like man, if they had more like they probably have like done covers and stuff, but it's just like if if more members had like solo stuff or had, can do covers, so I can just hear the color of their voice like that like hearing Jiwoo sing like that is so, like because we already seen her on queen of puzzle so i feel like a lot of people know about her tone now and what her voice can do but that that's crazy like that's really really nice and um i i i, I, I never thought she could i never knew her tone could go that far like it, it pierced me like it really that's how that's how like nice it sounded but um yeah with that hopefully you guys enjoyed this yeah i'm literally seeing a video right here rodantha versus uh um uh, fiesta um um yeah versus it said blink noir versus starlight how similar are they or or was it fiesta or was i thinking wrong or is that I, I I don't know. It's one of the Eyes One songs that I'm thinking about. I thought it was Violetta. Um, no, it's Fiesta. Yeah, yeah. Fiesta. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I I am dumb. It's it, it's Fiesta. Oh my god. I just want to cut. I just want to cut that song out. I just want to cut it out because I said Violetta. I'm thinking of Fiesta. That's that's what. Ah. Uh... Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>